Welcome to a much overdue Knife Nuts Extra. Hi, yeah. everybody. <laughs> Dave We're just a little sold behind. his Emerson. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I finally, this boat anchor that I was, uh, so the last vestige of my terrible taste in knives in like 2015. Uh, Dude, I still I, remember <laughs> when we, remember when we first met, we rolled yep. up to the Borders bookstore and uh, was it border? Was it still Borders at that point? Maybe not. We went to Galifty's. Gali- we went to Galifty's, but in that same shopping center was the 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 Borders bookstore. And oh, wow. then you rolled out with some of your knives. I brought some of mine. And I remember w- one of those was that alabaster scaled uh, Emerson. Yep, and the it's, Ju- uh, with a custom Juma scale. Yeah, that so was fun- a, a strong look. <laughs> Fun fact, uh, that scale was made by another uh, notorious scam artist. I have a bad habit of getting in. Well, I, have, I guess it's a good habit because I, I get the stuff before they disappear. I got that Alex Dietz thing way back in the day. And this guy, Steve Sketchin, SP Ketch, he was uh, His, oh, on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so he uh, disappeared with a lot of people's money in the last couple of years. And I got that scale done by him in 2015. It's the only probably custom Emerson Iron Dragon scale out you there. Know, when, Let me share my when screen. you when you think about it, his name had sketchy kind of in it. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. That's the SB best part. Sketch. Yep. Yeah. Could have seen that one coming. I remember that. You know, people just fall off the face of the earth and uh, get in over their heads a lot in this world. It's it's pretty pretty common it's, thing. It's uh, I mean, it's happened so many times that it's become a trope in like the the knife modifying world. Mm-hmm. It really has. Yeah. Um, while you're pulling up some uh, images, I want to say, uh, you know, summer has been. Oh, my God. Look at that thing. Uh, <laughs> Brian is on vacation and Jake is on a mental vacation. <laughs> Jake, Jake is a Porsche owner, so he has now surpassed us as a human being yes. in terms of accomplishment. Yeah, he's he's so finished. He's not he's dealing done. with us peons anymore. That is correct. Where, Even though the where's interior the engine? is in. Where's the engine in our cars? Is it in the front or is it in the back? It's in the front, no, and that's why it's in the front. Like we're, we are like worthless peasants. to him. We're yeah. peasants. Yes, that's right. Um, but no, Jake will be around, and we'll get back to doing full episodes soon. It's just been a crazy summer, honestly. After Blade Show, um, I went through a restructuring in my life, and I'm still trying to get used to that. N- nothing bad, all good, but uh, just trying to reprioritize things. Um. I was a little knifed out for like a week or two, if you can imagine. Um, yeah. uh, but everything's good. Um, I'm, Brian is still waiting on a shipment of micro Evos. So a small shipment, including three KMP ones that are going to three customers who have been incredibly patient. One of them is my mom. Did why? So, why were there three? <laughs> this is, I don't know if this is stuff there, we're talking about right now. Well, no, it's fine. Um, it's just three that were um, part of the end of the production. I don't really know. Don't ask me how three knife nuts ones ended up as part of the the um, the ones in question. But uh, Riyadh is well aware that they are not here yet. Um, and Brian has made them aware. <laughs> but, uh, you know, everything's good. They're coming, I think, with a couple more micros. I'm not quite sure, though. Um, I think they are already sold and maybe headed to dealers or something. But thank you to those of you who have been waiting. I will try and include something extra um, for your patience and waiting for those. So you are getting your knives. Uh, They just are not in my possession yet. Um, Batch three of the crystal knives are still on their way to me. Um, thank you to everyone who's been doing that. Um, I have a new site being built right now. Oh, I didn't know about that. Yes. You know, I have to get away from the, the PayPal stripe sort of thing. Plus it's a good place where, you know, any of us, if you wanted to put your knife up for sale or something, you could do it there. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? So we'll have, we'll be, we'll be launching knife nuts marketplace very shortly. Ooh, I like that idea. Mm-hmm. So it'll be Diversify very good. Diversify the income yep. streams. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do here. So we're going to see what happens. Um, and, and you can... What were you going to say? 
No, I was just going to say, they, I, I didn't know you were going to keep going. I was going to say, I thought we were still doing the thank yous. I was going to say thank you to everyone that reads the fine print on the three to six weeks <laughs> for the import times. Right. I know. Yes, <laughs> Dave has uh, also gets those emails. So he he gets to look and see who's uh, who's reading them and who isn't. <laughs> um, I, I try to I mean, I do try to get them out like uh, they do try to get out, you know, before the six week mark. But I don't control the ships. So as soon as they get to me, they go out within a day or two. I even have one for for Dave, too. I have uh <laughs> A satin horseman here for you. I mean, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I might be the last person to finally get one, but hey, I'm not. I'm the, not turning my nose up at it. The other thing I have coming is a uh, a project I'm doing with mini cannon tech. So you may have seen my 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 miniature cannons that. Well, let me let me bring that I, up. Yes, <laughs> that's. I had to turn my air so conditioner silly. off in here. I have to tell you, I had to turn my air conditioner off in here because it would just be making noise this whole time. Um, unless my new microphone does a good yeah, job. Yeah, no, your of new microphone them. should handle that. Can I try that? Because I'm sweating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Um, I just realized the reason I got this microphone is so, so I can actually. Yeah, no, it'll, it'll cancel out the air conditioning noises, probably. I hope. Otherwise, it's going to sound like Jake's house on a normal day. That's true. So, no. Do you hear it now? Because it's on. I did at first, but uh, nothing now. I think it figured out how to cancel it, it out. It figured it out. Nice. Yes. Yeah, so the mini cannons are a project um, that are, you know, I like fun toys, and uh, these are pretty ridiculous. They uh, are custom-made, machined, you know, CNC-machined cannons made in uh, Florida. Um, where else very, would they be very, made? <laughs> very, very high spec. Um, the ones that I'm having done are done in automotive. Like they're, they're. I think I can't. I think they're walnut. The frames are walnut. Um, and they are painted with automotive paint in like a plum crazy purple. That's wild. So they're they're like hung and sprayed. Oh, wait, so it's Not made of like, wood. It's made of wood. Oh, I didn't realize that. And uh, the actual, I mean, the barrel is that these are that's a mirror polished stainless steel CNC machines barrel. That's awesome. So it is. Does it shoot sweet. anything or does it just make a loud noise? Oh, no, it shoots a tiny cannonball <laughs> at, at up to 500 feet per second. That is. Woo. <laughs> it's going to be don't sell the cannonballs because uh, you don't want to be liable so, for that. Well, here's the best part. So since uh, Mini Cannon Tech is used to shipping this, these will be available on... There's only going to be 10 of them, and they'll be available oh, okay. on, his web, on his website, shipped from him. All right. No liability there. Knife Nuts Podcast mm. will continue for another day. And the way it works is um, when you have uh, the firing kit, when you order the firing kit along... I think it may be included, but don't quote me on that. that sh it ships ground, so there's, you know... It's legal because you get some black powder in there, too. <laughs> That's amazing. You get black powder, cannonballs, all sorts of things. This is very silly. Yes. <laughs> oh, look, the sound. Yeah, no, that was an accident. Yeah, see, look, this was my quick little vignette. The polished barrel will be an option because it is pricey. <laughs> you know, um, you put the fuse. Here you go. Putting little little ditties of uh, black powder in. Oh, okay. There's a little cannonball. In. And look, this was a very light load. So you can see it just goes. Eh. But then when <laughs> if you looked at uh, the other video where I put a good amount of gunpowder in there, this is more along the lines of what you can expect. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how you destroy your limited edition mini cannon when it goes flying uh, off your deck. It is. Very, very durable. I've fired this thing so many times. Um, it's hard. To, you can you have to like sight it in like it's hard to get it to like hit something, you know, because it's a cannon, yeah. um, but it'll bust some stuff up. So, you know, <laughs> I bet your neighbors love if, you. If you end up getting one of these, um, you will have a very, very unique piece of functional art. Yeah, that's for sure. 
Yes. Go check out Mini Cannon Tech's website. We'll have it in the link so you can check out some of what they what they do. Um, some okay, beautiful, these are pretty, beautiful work. These are pretty adorable. Oh my god! And they are huge fans of the podcast, so I'm I'm happy to. That's hilarious. Work with him. That's so cool. I don't. This is so silly. I love it. So that arm, the one that that's going to be the knife nuts one, is is that, and uh, I think it's that. That's cool. Maybe. I don't. I'm not a, a <laughs> cannon expert. <laughs> but that I is, can't even... ri- dude. They are sick. What does this um, person it, do for a living? This has got to be like a side. You're looking project, at it, right? man. He's a cannon guy. He's a cannon guy. He's a cannon guy. Like he look you, if he lives the cannon lifestyle. Like just what like is the my cannon life. Lifestyle. He lives the cannon lifestyle. So like you know how like every day of every minute in my life is bombarded with knives. This guy's cannons. This guy's cannons. I I just wait. Does he? Make he the, has full. He has. Wait, full is this size a full cannons. size cannon? Oh, okay. This is a that little, one's a little bigger. That's a. I mean, it's still. That's a. That's a. That's a gun, basically. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> At what point does this become a zip gun? Which is. I'm, I mean, we didn't. I will say tell that you, word. it would be very impractical <laughs> to try I mean, and use this as some sort of offensive weapon. You go, I mean, see that the, video? Tell go, that down to the. A little uh, bit. Tell that Scroll to down the British. See that one right there? The one in the middle with the uh, where he's lighting with the Zippo. Click on that. Is this an impractical weapon? Yes. I mean, <laughs> okay, that was really cool. <laughs> yeah. I know this is not the Canon podcast, but I, we had to take a little detour. I mean, show you what we're this pivoting. Is about. We could pivot. We pivot to the Canon podcast. Canon nuts podcast. <laughs> click I on bet that. There's that's no... good. That's good too. Click on click on that. I bet there's no competition in the uh, Canon podcast world. No, oh, I. We'd have the whole I mean, market. You'd cornered. have to deal with the Civil War reenactment of uh, people or Crowd. something like Ooh, that. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't want to deal Revolutionary with Revolutionary War stuff. Mm, no uh, thanks. Fun fact: When I was like twelve, I marched in a uh, in one of in like a Fourth of July parade in one of those reenactment groups. I hope no pictures of that exist of me in like revolutionary war garb carrying an American flag in a Fourth of July party with some other wow. reenactment people. <laughs> it's a dark time. I don't know how I got I roped into that. I don't even know what to say to that. That just. That's shocking. It is truly. I forgot about that detail of my life until you mentioned Civil War reenactors, and then that was close enough to trigger that memory. Of all of the people on the podcast, the last person to have taken place in some sort of um, patriotic reenactment, I think probably you were the least likely. <laughs> yep. I, uh, you know, there's going to be like one person that remembers this, and it's my sister. So hopefully she doesn't watch this one. We, I love your sister. I've never met her, but I love her because she she she's also always been you, very supportive, so. supportive of said podcast. So <laughs> she give actually, her my re- <laughs> she was she wanted to buy um some olive wood steak knives and i was trying to help her and she actually found some made by lion steel that i didn't know existed so that's they're she, probably pretty good actually that's the thing so she bought these these actually are, look pretty fantastic it's a hundred bucks for four of them they have real Ooh. olive wood handles and uh they're like you know that german 1.4116 steel so like i don't know it's cheap steel but it always is it's fine for the they price that's nice. not bad my sister found these, and I didn't even know these existed. They're not so. part of the full tang club, but I, I only want full tang uh, steak knives now. Yeah. Yeah. So she was like, I thought we were supposed to hate Lion Steel. I'm like, yes, we, we, we do hate <laughs> Lion Steel. <laughs> That's so but the, great. But notice how this doesn't have a lock on it, so I'm not mad. That's right. Doesn't fold, you know, no yep. lock. Yeah. That's that, all right that's, then. Yeah. This is playing to that's their strong suit. Exactly. Um,. Other knife news. You want to see before we talk about knives, you want to see something cool? The Surge Watch 2.0? This is the 2.0. I put it on this real snazzy uh gray camo band. But uh that's coming soon too. I like that one um a lot. I mean it's I, it's just it's more conventional than the first one, which I, I don't know if I'm into square watches. Um This um the more you look at it, the more surgy it is. Oh, it's yeah. I mean, it's it's right up his alley. Yeah. And like, I'm glad the first one did so well. Yes. Uh, 
because he clearly from from our interview with him, he clearly wanted to do the whole watch thing. So I'm glad he's I'm been so, able to do it. I am such a huge Surge fan. You know? <gasps> was there some? You know there this. was a video of him from Blade, right? He uh, someone sat down with him. I'm gonna I'm gonna look on YouTube right now for this. <laughs> I wanted I I wanted to sit with him, but um, it it just got too crazy. I, I I'm so glad I was able to catch up with Gavin. If you haven't had a chance, I did post a pretty impromptu, which was supposed to be like two minutes, but Gavin and I ended up sitting there for like half an hour, um, chatting about the Deadlock Model C. Um. Oh yeah, so Blade HQ did a thing with Surge. Nice. Yes, yes. Blade. We yeah. also did a thing with Blade HQ. Yeah. <laughs> Brian and I. I still haven't watched it. I think it's like a second hand. It's just, it's like watching yourself. I know. It's too I awkward. I, I like, haven't watched it either. I, I haven't. Okay. I can't watch it. There's I think also, I want to see like, Brian, but I, I can't. No, it's very odd. And also, there's one where River's Edge hung out with me for a little while. That was hard for me to watch. Well, it didn't help. But I remember that you guys... having fun. I remember having fun with them. So it doesn't help that you guys were filming in the same location that uh, that Jared West did that quartermaster brown bag exact... interview Dude, outside you have, of Blade. You have no idea. We, that's where we walked first. That's where the edits. I was like, no, I can't do this. Let's go. Let's go back inside. <laughs> yeah, it was. It, it, it had flashbacks of uh, of Jared West for sure. Yeah, uh, I um, not not oh, recommended. God, I bet that interview is. Oh, <laughs> uh, apparently there's another interview with him on YouTube, but I don't know if we'll ever and find the one from him. We from don't need outside of the Blade show. <laughs> we don't need to see that. <laughs> um, other knife stuff. Let's see what else do I have. Um, one of the knives that I've been featuring recently is uh, the first pre-orders. Um, the first batch of pre-orders went up for Eric Oaks' uh, new EDX line. Uh, the mm. EDX version of the Osprey. It's a Riot built uh, three and a quarter inch folder. Uh, very, very nice. Yeah, I was gonna, um, I was gonna ask who made it, and then I looked at it, and it took me about one second to figure out that it was Riot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really, Riot. really nice. Uh, Smart move. Mm -hmm. I've heard a lot it, from him in terms of customs lately, so this is a good way to jump back into the to the market. I I was actually I talked to him for a good hour. Um, on the phone. Uh, and, you know, this is a great way to get his name out of, like, stuff uh, into people's hands, his designs into people's hands, um, and allow him to spend more time working on individual customs, you know? Yeah. So. I, um, I'm guessing, yeah, so he's going to go the route that Brian did because it's the most logical Very thing to similar. do as a custom maker. Very similar. Very similar. Yeah. I, I, I like some of uh, Eric Oaks's customs. He did a, I don't know if you'll have any pictures of them, but uh, he does these like Skagel uh, stack. If you go to his Instagram, handles. you'll see newer ones. I don't know when he added some of that stuff. Yeah, I feel like I, I haven't seen anything from him in a, in a long time, but he'll do the, uh, it was inspired by Skagel who like just like scavenged for apparently for pieces of micarta. Uh, I want to say Chuck Gutierrez yeah. told me about this. Um, yeah. So it's just like a ton of different like stripes. I mean, like little strips of mark of uh, my card. I don't know. This, like he did these Micarta, ages yeah. ago. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if we'll find a picture of it, but that's cool. That it, I mean, he's got a couple CRKT production knives, so he's probably doing doing OK. He's um, a great. But, yeah. He, er, Eric's a, a very good knife designer and knife maker. I so. just can't believe uh, Riot has time to fit more people in. It's got to be the end of the road, man. <laughs> Yeah, either he ordered these a million years ago and they just came up, uh, or, <laughs> or well, no, you know what Riot it is is, is that you know, he's had a relationship with them through Drop. Oh yeah, they did do the Drop um, that liner lock. It was nice. Yeah, it was. It was relative. It was like I think they advertised it as like one the of the cheapest Orca. knives that yeah, the, one yeah. of the cheapest knives that Riot has ever made. I mean, least mm -hmm. expensive. Yeah, I yes, say. exactly. It wasn't cheap. It definitely punched above its weight class in terms of price. That thing, holy crap! Yeah, um, yeah, these look really nice. I, I think yeah. this is this is very cool. Um, it is very nice. It is very nice, and there's more stuff coming. Um, so and, this e, this whole this will be this EDX line will be some very very cool stuff. Well, smart. Um, he's got a reversible yeah. pocket clip on these, which is interesting. Okay, so he doesn't have mm -hmm. any customs up, but uh, 
Yeah, I also like how we went with one of the most obscure G10 colors there is, the slate blue. I think that's a great color. Yeah, it's, a, it's one you don't see often, so mm-hmm. credit where credit is due. Um, I have my HEA Designs Hunter is in that color, G10. Yeah. yeah. He, um, yeah. He, he made it a smart choice here. That's a nice design. It's very, very kind of conventional, but looks very well done. I, you know, the, the milling on the bolster. Looks it's fantastic. nice. Yeah. Because it's Triot, and they uh, do good things. What a surprise. Very well thought out. Yeah. Nice. Good for him. Um, let me look at my thingamajig and tell you what else. Sorry, it's kind of low energy. It's been a very long day. Um, um, you have one of these, right? So I'm on the screen, I'm sharing I the, got uh, one the for spider my mom. Co- yeah. The min- okay, yeah. how are these not sold out? Like, on what planet are we living on that this hasn't sold out yet? Like, I, this seems excellent to me. I feel like the lightweight stuff doesn't move yeah. as quickly. I mean, it's it's like, you know, can we talk about, handles, can we, but can the we colors about, are great. Can we talk about this? Oh, wait, what is this? We got like three layers of pixelation here. So I know. So you got to go check out this maker. His name is uh, Jason, uh, Jason with a with a Y, and it's uh, it's VC Edge Knives. Uh, OK, let me look that up. So I've never heard of this, this guy. year. This year, I've had the pleasure of experiencing some of the coolest folding knives that I've handled in my life. And one of them is when I say folding, I mean, I guess just knives because one of them is an out the front, meaning the deadlock Model C. Oh, the, this dude, hold up. So yeah. the Deadlock Model C, the um, Winter Blade Co. Factor, and this thing. So what's the I have actually seen called? this. Uh, is it the interface? Interface, yes. So this is a 1.7 ounce, 3.6 inch bladed folding knife. Oh, it's like it's a laminated. The carbon fiber is laminated onto the steel or the steel. Yeah. Yes, right? it's actually keyed in. So if you oh look at God. the tip, if you look at the tip, I don't know if you can. I tried to show it in my video, um, but you can see how that edge is keyed into the carbon fiber. And there's a lot of face keyed in. It is v- absolutely one of the most impressive knives I've handled in a very, very, very long time. Uh, so I'm guessing he just came out of nowhere making these. I'm guessing because. Uh, well, actually, a um, uh, first like Brian, person who told me, like. first person who who yeah, very very similar uh, idea, uh, makes them himself. You know, in his shop, seems like a really cool guy too. Um, Former engineer should tell you everything. That's how. Right. <laughs> that's why you're getting this crazy stuff. Right. I mean, if you look and see how milled out just the titanium on the lock bar and everything else is, it's so cool, dude. Jesus. Yeah. Um, very impressive knife. First brought to my attention by, is it T-Ready or 7-Ready? What's his Treddy? name? This, <laughs> Treddy. The Swiss knife it? reviewer. Yes. So, you know, um, his taste is very specific, usually. If it has my carta, it's good. That's pretty much how he rolls. So when he was talking to us and and me specifically about how good this knife was, I was like, "All right, Trenny, sure, I'm sure it's wonderful." Um, I I didn't blow him off, but I didn't. I wasn't too intrigued because this is not the first time we've seen like laminated carbon fiber um, edge knives, like Warren Thomas or something. Yeah, like I was that, just right? gonna say Warren, <laughs> fucking Warren Thomas. Yeah, and those knives were not good. Just putting no. that out there. No. Those were like the meth this knives. Is, those they're very methy. Um, it sounds like I'm saying messy, but with a lisp. <laughs> <laughs> but either way, this is a very impressive piece. And then um, Matt Critchley, who sent me a package of wonder, <laughs> uh, was this was included in that box. And I no, I'm sorry, it was shipped separately in a flat rate box. I legit thought he sent me an empty box i mean 1.7 ounces may as well be empty box yeah yeah yeah. because it was it it was taped to the box you know i don't know if you've ever bought a shirogara from recon one but that's how they (laughs) ship stuff they it's pretty smart actually they tape everything to the inside of the box 
Yeah, that makes sense. Um, but I legitimately thought he sent me an empty box. Um, I'm, I'm guessing whatever this guy's the charging action, for these. The, uh, they're 700 and some. Okay, at least he's charging a decent amount of money for these. No. Yeah, they're they're priced appropriately. You know? Are those the bearings? Any, those are the bearings. <laughs> so you know what it is. It's so that he has more surface area. Yeah. Because of, of the carbon fiber. Those are some bizarre bearing that's races, but Don't, that's so cool. I'm just guessing that's what it is. I'm not an engineer, so, but... <laughs> he's saying they're, they're skeletonized to save weight, the bearing races. Mm, well, they are. That's insane. One one point seven ounces. These are wild. I'm. Here's a question for the uh, comments. What's heavier, one point seven ounces of titanium or one point seven ounces of carbon fiber? <laughs> Leave your answers <laughs> in the comments below. Uh, the answer may it, surprise you. This is his like first knife, right? In, I, in, he's had a couple, but this is the breakout. This is yeah. the breakout. Okay, um, so I'm this gonna talk is, to him some more. I'm definitely gonna wild. get one for myself. I I cannot not have one. And everybody, I mean, I let Jake handle it. Our buddy Chris Kelly, he handled it. And he's like, we, I need this. Now I have to put this out there. I don't know how much of a hard use knife this thing is, but as an object, and it it works. It works splendidly. Um. And it's it's amazing. It's it's I a just, feat of engineering. I just love that the 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 uh, the lock bar is like incorporated into this. It's just this one piece. That's very interesting. Mm -hmm. I bet Elijah would like this because he was trying to do something pretty similar with the interframe stuff that he was doing or you, whatever it was called. Right, and you I, notice that right it's term, a very but. form follows function sort of thing. Like it's not over embellished. It's not a crazy whacked out design. It's just even the design is almost kind of vanilla. Like if you just saw the profile of the knife, you'd be like, what the hell yeah. is this? You know, I mean, that's fine. But then when you get into it, the more you look at this knife, you're like, you realize how mind bending. Wait, so how much steel is, is on the blade? Like, is it just ah, this exposed portion? I, I wish I saw I showed you. Can you go to my video? If you go look at oh, the video yeah, sure. that I posted of it. I think I I actually show how it's keyed. There's the clear Agoroff too. That's a pretty cool knife. Yeah. I don't know if you gotta wait for it to snap open. There's Jake. Guess what? This is another. Uh, somebody commented on this video. Is this a uh, a silent version of what is Jake doing? Because <laughs> he's not working on his engine. If you notice where is he is in the, the car. Also, a recent a secret installment of what is Jake doing? Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's wild. Yeah, let's see. I think I show it off. And Maybe I don't. Am I just some dingus that doesn't? Yeah, the floating I, I, backspacer is a nice touch. So it's so just, the edge is basically just steel, and the rest of it's just carbon fiber for the blade. Yes. Oh, look, you can see it. You yeah. Can, no, you can't. Yep. There's no way. But yeah, you, you can, you can so, see on the spine of keyed in. Yeah. Yeah, it's key okay, in that's, there. That's really neat. It is very neat. That's why yeah, I love this. I love this knife. Love it. It's one <sighs> of the coolest cool. knives someone has ever sent me. You know, uh, <laughs> thank you to Matt Critchley for doing that. And this is up. I mean, <laughs> are you sure that that was the coolest knife? You didn't get some random Chinese custom. Oh, from the depths this of is, China. This is this. Let me tell you something. This thing, this bat wing knife is, is just nuts. Is is probably one of the finest made custom knives I have ever handled. I mean, is the blade the blade got to be like in terms of a titanium liner lock type yeah. item. It is the, immaculate. That polish on the blade, it's got to be like electro uh electro polished like something. Like the There's Marfion no way you can customs. get them so they're so crisp. Like yeah. each grind is wild. Yeah, that's you know, got to be. He's even got some a... Lee Lerman style posts going on in the back there. And in, that on... that zirconium pivot. I, I mean, it's nuts. 
if if Lee Lerman suddenly had like just wanted to make the most garish knife possible, this looks a lot like his finishing and just his style in general. Like I mean, uh, it's, construction it's style, not, it's not, not design. Quite, it's not quite to a Lee Lerman finish. Sure, I will say, but it is it is sh- shockingly the, close. The and, choices I mean, are very you, similar. These are these are priced. Like a Lerman too. They're not. Well, cheap that's the thing. So, item. so they, they were in. They were not inexpensive. But like, what if the lock? What if you start getting some blade play? Who do you send this to? Do you just mail it to the People's Republic of China and hopes <laughs> one in one billion people finds it that knows how to fix this? This is the kind of knife that and never ends up getting blade play because yeah. you, you look at it, you, you yeah, flip it. it, you put it in a pouch, and you take it out and flip it again. Sometimes shocking <laughs> all your friends. <laughs> You have a quota of flips, like uh, that you I, can have one per month. Okay, you know this knife reminded me of something, and as the commenters were like, "Well, it must be a bitch to sharpen, but uh, it's pretty cool." Like the people <laughs> who have to comment, like, "What world are you in?" No one is is using this knife. <laughs> no. Like, how do you even think that way? How? Yeah. Oh yeah, because it'd be so easy to polish that out. <laughs> okay. Well, my new steps to my my yard are being showed <clears> off here too. Ooh. Work in progress there. Yeah, that has to be electro polished. There's yeah. no way he's doing that. But he's not buffing that by hand. No, it's no. way too perfect. It's that's Who crazy. Cares? It's incredible. Yeah. And that time amazing. mask is finished on on that backspacer and that clip is very very impressive as well. Mm. Didn't Brian just invent a new coloration for Timascus or some crazy thing? Yeah, I, I it looks good. I like when Brian experiments with that kind of thing. Jerry Moen took my idea that I was talking to Brian about. I mean, he didn't take it. It wasn't like he stole the idea. He just did it first. Wait, Jerry um, Moen is, is still around? Yeah. yeah, Jerry Moen is doing some cool stuff with DLC and, da- and Damasteel. Remember I was talking to Brian about you should do a Damasteel dagger and find some place to do some dlc because yes. it will look incredible get, out, get also, out of this go to a different uh, thing which one is it uh the one that's black this one and the, or the well this one's dlc too so that's like like a you know the bronze okay. dlc damn yeah steel. that's wild yeah well, this is. The I'm not next crazy step. about that knife by any stretch of the imagination. No, no, no. no. But, but this is obviously the like the next thing Brian has to do finish wise. I that's I've been saying. I, but the problem is, is oh my god, I sound like Brian now. The problem is, how um, do you get this done in small quantities? Oh, there it is. Look at look at you can't. That's the problem. Yeah. you have to know someone or go in with another maker yeah. who's getting a batch of DLC stuff done. Yeah, because Ion Bond is actually close to Brian, like in New Jersey. I know. I know. But I wa- they don't you take know, one order. Yeah, I they don't take Brian, an order of what one. What you got to do is sneak in there, show him like, hey, this this is what I, you know, but he's not Mr. Personable. Like, what's he going to do? Yeah. Go in there and be like, I make knives. Can I sneak some of my parts into your, into some of your, your clients? industrial shit? level <laughs> DLC? Yes. yes. <laughs> like with the but, ZT? Uh, who it might It might work. You know what he needs? He needs me to go talk to them for him. Yeah. He needs, he needs a representative. A representative. I represent of Sharp uh, by Design Mr. Brian LLC. A. Nadeau. Yes. Of Sharp by Design LLC. LLC. I'm the CFO of Sharp by Design LLC. The... Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, I can't mean... get over. It. Yeah, Brian's got to do something like this. This is the the, the rose gold see, one is just problem, so ridiculous. Now the, now the other problem is now that if Brian does it, he's like, "Oh, you're copying Jerry Moen." No, you're not. I also, know, Jerry Moen one, owes the world after showing uh, Jim Skeleton how to make knives. So I feel like, I like Jerry Moen owes us a Jill, favor. I love that you still call Jim Jim Skeleton. <laughs> that's, that's not his I, name. You know what? I want to have him on one of these with us. I think Jim might have some fun with that. I mean, he still exists. Good for him. He exists. Uh, yeah. But yeah, no, I'm pretty sure Jerry Moen showed him how to make knives in, in yeah. Texas. Um, Texas. Yeah, All right. that's really cool though. Credit yeah. where credit is due. I don't, this is I don't wild. hate this design. That is this that is, is very cool. Okay, here's the problem though: is this is going to be so polarizing because like so many people are going to say <laughs> this looks what? like you a know gas what? I station don't like knife. It anymore. I don't like it anymore. Look at the comments. Oh yeah, no, this is trash. Of course, <laughs> Frank would like this. 
Yeah, this is a very frank. Well, night. here's the thing. This is going he's to skew. He can't people. hide his inner Persian. They're going to be two very distinct groups: people who think this looks like a gas station knife, and people who love this. Well, the people so. who think it's a gas station knife are just wrong. First yeah. off, because yeah. gas station knives, by default, are trying to be overdone gilded lilies to make them look yeah. fancier than they are. This is actually fancy. Yeah. No, that's, that's very but neat. But look at that. Look at Frank's, like, uh, this, this is, is very, very cool. cool. Of course. I thought you quit. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Very funny. Uh, yeah, no, All that's right. cool. I, I had no idea yes. about that. Yeah, I thought you might get a kick out of that. Uh, he's been doing this for a couple months now, but uh, for years I've been trying to get Brian to get some DLC on mm. on uh, some Damage cool. Steel. Especially with the way Brian finishes Damage Steel. You know, yeah, that's what's I missing. Mean, these have ve- these have very, I don't want to say basic, but like your standard etch. You know, the way mm. that Brian does it, I think, would look pretty bonkers. Agreed. Think? Yeah, that's that'd be cool. Um, another knife, a uh, production knife that has a Kickstarter going. I think the Kickstarter got funded by Fist Bladeworks. Q- Q-V-I-S-T. <laughs> oh, God. Where are these names coming from? Um, his, this, yeah. I mean, his name is, is uh, I think, Jeremy Lundquist or Justin Lund... Not Justin. It's Lundquist. It's another Lundquist. Jacob is this not Lundquist. the other Lundquist that's making knives? Maybe. No, no, this is the, the guy with this the is, guy with this the, is a, the Wii knives. Uh, he's got something like the Idolon. No, this oh, is God, a third we've got more Lundquists. Oh Christ! But I like this knife. It's a you know a very utilitarian like swayback design. Mm. Um, he does custom ones, um, but the production one is done by QSP. Oh, Chris. okay. Yeah. It's funny Kvist, that he's Kvist Kvist and, and Kvist. 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 Yes. <laughs> it just sounds like um, we're trying to speak Norwegian. Uh, I know. But so these uh, are customs. These are the custom ones. Yeah. Interesting. Um, I'm curious. So L Max is a, is from Bowler Udenholm. I did not know they made it in America. Mm. I thought that steel was made in Austria, but I don't know. I might be wrong about that. But it is from Bowler. Uh, what is going on here? Uh, it's probably got some, I don't know, is it some video game reference or something? Oh, I think it's V for Vendetta, but it's upside down. Oh. Ugh. <laughs> nope. The knife is good, I'm telling <laughs> yes. you. Yes. Okay, so is it the production version? That's the production version. It's cool. It's like a little sway back. A little sway does back. It, does really it Really nice. Yeah, locks. It's what, got a liner lock. What am, Oh, okay, I was going to say, what am I missing here? All right, yeah, lock, uh, lock, that makes sense. It's finished so nice. There hmm. For a knife of its uh, price point, it's... Yeah, what's the... Uh, what's the pr- oh, okay, Kickstarter. $1 million, dollars, Kickstarter. obviously. Oh, okay, well, you know, that's reasonable. No, I think they are... 55 bucks. I think 55 bucks. I mean, it feels like a hundred and some dollar knife, for sure. Yeah, QSP is good. And they didn't put yeah. their terrible like little flame logo thing. And their on here, machine so satin good. their machine satin is so clean. Interesting. Like that thing oh, is, yeah, is, yeah. is beautifully done. I feel like, oh, oh there we go. yeah, that does look great. Reviewed. Yeah. Yeah, very, very oh. nice. Interesting. I don't know if yeah, you can still I... get in on this, but I mean for fifty five bucks, it's a win. Um no. This, let's talk about how this person stole Snex's name and he's like putting out this piece of junk. Mm. There's so is so much Kickstarter funded. garbage out there. Oh my God. Look at that piece of shit. This is a real piece of shit. Wow. Wow. I, I don't know how we haven't done a, a Kickstarter for a kitchen knife. It's like they're all guaranteed to be funded. Um, and this and you don't is have to a deliver piece anything. of shit. Okay, hold on. That's one of the really shittiest knives I've ever steel? seen. Do you, do you think this is real Damasteel? No, what pa- what pattern do you think it is? Uh, dog shit pattern? I don't know. Okay, apparently this is really... Okay. Vinland. Okay, so well, they're, wa- they're wasting <laughs> real da- Damasteel on this? They're, they're wasting real Damasteel on this. Wow. Look at that. I cannot get over that. 
Oh, wait. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that's not. Wait, that's not Timascus. No. Okay. Wait. Are they trying to say that this is Timascus? This is just. Well, that's just. Oh, Christ. And this person's back. This is back like 60 grand. That's not Timascus. That's just mm. heat anodized steel. I mean, uh, not mm-hmm. steel. Heat anodized titanium. Titanium. Mm hmm. That is just a flat out lie. God, see, this is the shit. You can do whatever you want on. See, we could do a legitimate Kickstarter because, like, we actually know stuff about knives uh, and have connections to OEMs. Or we, we, so we could do the legit route, or we could go this route where you lie about what the handles are made out of, and then disappear and, off the face of the earth. And you try, and, and then everybody, the and then everybody of, tries to sue Snacks because they can't get the name correct. Yep. 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 Yeah, this thing's. This is one of the shittiest knives I've seen recently. Yeah, this Look is at terrible. that CAD drawing. Look at the CAD drawing. <laughs> what, what do you mean a CAD drawing of this for? It's like four shapes. What <laughs> wow, look at that. Wow, you did it, man. Nice. <laughs> do you think he put this? He didn't even save the file. Look, it's untitled no. with unsaved untitled. changes. Oh, my God. That's real R&D right there that you're paying yeah, for. Yeah, people. People. Do you think he put this thing through the wind, the wind tunnel Open afterwards? your fucking eyes. That is a this, piece of the garbage. The CFD analysis? All right, we've given this guy enough screen time. If you bought this, I'm sorry. Trash. Yeah. Yeah. Have fun with your fake time ask us. This wow, that sucks. thing is garbage. This is good. All right. Hopefully this gets back to this guy. Uh, oh, man. The, cashing in on the cyberpunk bullshit. Jesus. Oh, this is this. Is he from me. Eastern Europe? <laughs> hey, that's not. I'm sure our Serbian listeners are dedicated mm-hmm. Just as dedicated to the podcast. I don't even, I'm not even going to click on the link for the website. Um, this sucks. Uh, buy legit stuff. I don't know. Why do people do this? Ugh. You know, this won't even cut like a single thing in the kitchen anywhere. People, this is like, this is just stupid. This is for people who really just don't know anything about knives. And they're not cheap. It's $160. No. Look at that piece of trash. I just, I love that it's fake time ask us. Does it have uh, Japanese right. letters on it or something? Yeah, or no, does... they're they're clearly they're going for the like the Asian fetish shit here by just putting mm. Japanese stuff all over it uh, to try and appeal. Uh, oh, put it next to some some onions. That'll 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 do it. I just can't get over this. I feel like I gotta I gotta. <laughs> Can we look at some good knives? Hold on, there's another <laughs> I like, maker I want you to I like see. The, I like the scale of the HRC and how often you'll have to sharpen it. So. I want to show you um, another knife maker. Is that okay with you? <laughs> yes, that is okay with me. Yeah, but I gotta, I gotta remember what. Okay. All right. I'm going to show you this knife maker, a good one. So my Russian connection has led me to meet a lot of amazing custom knife makers in um, in Russia, in Russia, and the surrounding countries. So I want you to go to Instagram and I want you to look up Alex Custom Knives. <laughs> That's it. How do you get that as a name? I mean. Yeah, wow. How do you get that? And I want you to take a look at some of these these amazing knives. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you haven't found the one yet. Is it this this one? It's the, oh, it's this dude, but it's not this. Time Does he have a video of it one. or something? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, I, I need to find a, vi- a video of it. I'm not. I'm not Keep really going. Getting... That that's see the one that's like. All right, that's beautiful. Isn't that incredible? And there's it's there's very there's art knifey, but yes. But you'll see, see it's a like vid- a full size knife. Yeah, there's a video of it. Where's? Uh, You're I going too it? fast. Oh, here we go. Yes. Yeah, and go to the next video because he'll flip it open there. But look at this freaking thing. Where are is the hardware? Where is anything on it? Wait till you see it work because it does. Where's the pivot? Is it a liner lock? How? Where? What? It's a liner lock. How do you? Mm, yeah. Do you? Add, is it? Go to the, go to the next video in the same thing. That's incredible, nice. right? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I assume these are just impossible to get. I mean, I'm sure it's prohibitively expensive. 
Yeah. Because that's what you're like, saying. How are the, uh, there this many insanely talented knife makers in Russia? I don't understand it. They got a lot of money and they got a lot of time. Well, I mean, I'm sure he, he makes uh, a lot of money off of these. A lot of rubles. It's wow. Incredible, right? And there's yeah. a couple other ones, too. Let me see if I can remember their name skis. These look mm, very different. He took a real left turn at one point. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so his newer stuff is a little more refined. <laughs> but you can tell, like, he learned. Yeah. A lot. See some You've seen, remember progress. these knives? He's the same guy who did those fly knives. Like, I've been following this guy a long time. Keep scrolling. Go the other way. Go up. <laughs> go, go up? Okay, yeah, go towards the good knives. Go, go, not that far. Ah, 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 ah. Anyway, there's one that he did that looked like a mosquito. <laughs> I'm not kidding. And I and I saw it a while ago. And I said, you know, that's actually pretty freaking cool. Oh, is I, it this one? I, I think it might be yeah. that one. This yes. is the one that's like it's an insect inspired. Because yes. I mean, his new knives are like on another insects? level. It's so true. <laughs> that's wild. It's neat, though, right? I mean, it's it's unique. I think I like his newer stuff better. I'm going to go ahead yes, and say me that. Too. But wow, I just can't get over this one. Whatever, whatever that's called. The one with the no screws or anything is. Uh, All right. And nice. here's the next. Here's the next crazy Russian that I follow who I'm obsessed with. It's Klino Klinok Master. So K-L-I-N-O-K Master. <laughs> what are these Wait names? Till you see, I was showing Brian this stuff. Oh my lord! Yeah, dude. Wow. Uh, I can immediately tell that this is an expensive knife. Oh yeah, oh yeah, big I, time. I can. Wait, where are these guys hiding? All right, he's got. A, maybe he's from the Ukraine. His website has got a Ukrainian yeah. uh, domain yeah, name. Ukrainian. Okay. Yeah, he's Ukrainian. Um, this is a buddy of uh, Ivan B. Okay. Wow. What? Yeah. What is even going on on the like the, on like the the flat titanium parts? There's like some texture or pattern going on. It's a, that I can't it's, really it's, see. It's, it's milled. Oh Jesus! It's Brian it's, and this guy need to get together. Yeah, I showed Br Brian is like the the amount of time on a mill that that takes. It's unreal. Go to a different knife. That's. Oh, uh, okay. So he's made more than one. That's oh, wild. Dude. Look at, where do you see that? Like the lattice the, the stuff going on. The here. pivot is like a face. It's a moon. What? And a sun. And he makes a tool for it. Oh my God. Yeah. Dude. Okay. Anything that comes in a bag that looks right? like you just bought something from like a high end fashion brand. Yes. I'm not, God, I can only Next imagine. What he sells usually these that's for. a bad, usually that's a bad sign. Bad sign for your wallet. Jeez. These are beautiful. I want you to get to oh the pivot. Uh, wait till you get to the pivot um, close-ups. Oh, is this the pivot tool? Yes. That is unbelievable. Yes. Yeah, so there's the sun, and then there's the moon. Oh, my God. It's Mother of Pearl. How nice is that? What, his name is... The, the, the name the, on Lushevsky the... Lushevsky Yeah, something like that. Wow. Shout out to this guy. Holy. What is what even is that? I don't even I give up. I give up. I'm telling you, dude. What? I don't, what's even <laughs> happening? This on that is blade? why I'm ruined. I'm ruined. Do, ruined. I just I see. This is the thing. I want this stuff to all stay behind like the Iron Curtain of Eastern Europe so that I yeah. don't need to know it exists because I don't want to know that knives these this insane exist. So I'm I trying mean, to dip my toes into the the world of crazy Russian knives. I um, don't the money. I have one coming. Hold on, but not by anything this nuts. <laughs> I want to show you. Like I know that there are uh, art knives obviously that you can get in the west that are like this but like the fact that it's like a tactical folder is the part in that, the west the the tactical folder part is what gets me yeah 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 you think any one of these knives has ever been farther west than poland probably not 
Probably not. I think these you're, things you're stay right. pretty, uh, pretty put in Russia. Maybe they go to China. But, oh, my, I can't get over this. I just want a book of this guy's knives. Yeah, right. Oh my just God. look at pictures of them all the time. Jesus. Hold on. I'm looking for the Instagram of the guy <laughs> that's making me knives. Incredible, trying to discern right? what car what car he has because whatever um, he has he needs a better car that's a that's a volkswagen or a or a seat or something oh you know, it's a, a, yeah some, it's a, some volkswagen audi group product yep mm-hmm. be driving a bentley with this thing that's definitely not i know he should be but you can tell him look oh, at God. the shop photos and stuff you know this guy doesn't mess around no this is wild This is this is some good stuff. Okay. So I want you to look up it's all Russian, but try try this. Um it's Igor Olenkov. So it's O L I already got it. Okay. So that's my knife right there. Oh, I've one. seen these. I don't know if it's just because you sent it, but Yeah, these I've showed nice. you a couple of his stuff. Yeah, the the top one. That one in that steel green color. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's mine. Oh, these look nice. Yeah. Um, there's one that he does that I, I'm I want to get pretty badly. Um it's the one just to the left of where that Wait, one. Wait, is this gonna so be a solar ha- system knife? Correct. Oh, I so love this the solar I, system knives. Yeah, dude. So close that and then go look at if you it's right there. If I you can't see me point. What the fuck am I doing? Go back. Go back. Just to the left of that. No. Oh, to the left of it. This this solar system knife. Yes, that is the solar system knife. That's awesome. I love those. I'm a sucker for those. Isn't that awesome? That's really cool. I need that. That's that's great. I like how the the pivot is the sun. That's really Mm -hmm. cool. Neat. Uh, man, I love these. There's some things that are like should be tacky uh, that I love. And yeah, I mean, that's. But, you know, we've talked about this a lot. Like, if you can take trite imagery and make it look elegant as fuck, you're doing something right. I mean, that's the the line between gas station knife and art knife. That is Is... 100% right. You remember how Brian did that one, um, those flag uh, milled uh, hurricanes? Oh, I thought we were talking about the. I thought we were going to talk about the one with the flames. <laughs> I, well, the flames are. That's a great example too. I love the flames. I thought they looked awesome on there. I I haven't seen the flag ones in. in but those were really years. really well done. Um, I don't even think I'll be able to find a picture of those. Yeah, I, you know yeah. who has one? Because um, what do you call it? Uh, um, Jordan had one, and he sold oh, it to God. Adam Adam Webb, I think. Oh, okay. Is Adam Webb? Go look at Adam Webb's Instagram and see if he got it. But look how beautiful is, are, is this guy's knives. Yeah, those are great. How, how did you order it? Did you just DM him? and I, t- I that... talked to him. Um, I have Now I have, you know, I have some, some, they know I'm, uh, I'm a friend. Okay. <laughs> um, but I talked to him and I had, I wire transferred him the money but that's how i do business with yeah so there it is right there um this is one of this is the prototype one so it doesn't look as nice Uh, it's nice don't get me wrong but the 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 original ones the ones that went out to i think what's that one dealer that brian used to work with all the time north true north knives true north knives that's who got them originally Um, okay did my camera just get blurry? What just happened here? Yeah, but uh, I mean, he yeah. he also has this one, and this is my favorite, the new Tempest. So, you still with me? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, it's, it's very <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. Uh, um, we should at least make fun of one knife or something. Because oh, we one hundred percent. Yeah, before we, we, we talked about like some great stuff today. Yeah, this is out of character. Okay, uh, this is low-hanging fruit. It's an MKM knife. It's probably bad. 
I don't even see it. Where's the knife? Can't even see it. <laughs> we don't even have anything creative anymore. No. Just don't like MKF. It doesn't have uh, a solar system on it? I'm not interested. <laughs> <laughs> it has got zero planets. I'm like, okay, with that. What? There is... N- <laughs> Uh, See that print? This, okay, this, th- that print, yeah. This is the guy that won the, best folder. Yes, right? and that's that's the design he's had for a while. But that's the one that won best folder. And pictures do not do it justice. It is a very impressive piece, for sure. Oh, whoa! I didn't see yeah. the corkscrew coming. Yep, and the yeah, and the yeah, and they and bit weird. driver. Yeah, very very neat. He's a, he's weird. a good dude too. Very good dude. Oh, okay. Uh, quick something to make fun of. Scroll in, scroll in. <laughs> something bad will come up. Oh, we were literally making fun of this, like uh, Boker, make, <laughs> Boker making their knives out of Damascus from like World War II tanks. Here we go. Here's one made from AK-47 barrels. Uh, you know, the target audience for that is people who <gasps> want Russian knives but don't know they want Russian knives. Hey, how how much more can we beat this dead horse? Oh, quite a bit. A, a two inch. Who wants this? Who wants how do you, this? A lot of people, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Well, I have to say, it doesn't look as bad as it could. Oh, here's something that looks as bad as it could. This is what the what is going on here? This Max Ace hive. Yeah, it's a like, hive. It's giving me hives. <laughs> It looks like it has hives. It is mm, horrific. I, I think I, w- I would take that over most of the knives you just showed me, though. I I really just let's just, this, the logo is a cat. I have Midnight Cat Studios. Midnight Cat. We remember Midnight Cat. Yes, he's a Midnight Cat. That's, you better watch out. He's gonna get you. Oh, it's five hundred dollars. Yes, that's horrific. No, probably, you're right. I probably won't. Um, what's that? Um, is that the Stedman I got? What's the difference between Max Ace and Stedman? Are they like the same thing? The guy who makes the Max Ace knives makes the Stedman knives for whoever oh. the Stedman guy is. Okay. <laughs> These people are all... Who knows if they're real? Uh, actually, you know what? No, the Stedman guy posted pictures of him with a dog, so I'm assuming he's real. Uh, hey. The Leon. Oh, oh, Johnny boy. <laughs> oh, here we go. There we go. <laughs> John. Look, five hundred twenty-five dollars. Does he tell them to set this price? No. Or... Come on, John. Look, leave John Gray alone. <laughs> I don't get it. What was it? What so, was he? What was he trying to give us with that one? What was the angle he was going for with that one? Defense, yo. I love John Gray. Uh, John, I will not I, say a bad nice word. About, I will not say a bad word about John Gray. I like him too. I just don't get why he does <clears> bows, <throat> and then he also does really well I made got, nice knives. I got, I got one of those um, Christensen Wee knives, the which thugs? is totally yeah, the Thug, which is normally like n- pretty much not my style of knife, but it's very nice. I it's have, like it was weird to find to get like a Wee branded knife in. Oh, After yeah. when was the last time God they knows how long one of those how yeah i have less than zero interest in that one unfortunately um i liked it because it had some different finishing and stuff like that it may end up being a uh knife nuts giveaway for our wonderful patient patrons i i want eos to be successful i really do i just can't find a design that they put out that i like mm. they were nice they're nice. Yeah. I met them at the New York show. You did. Oh, okay. So remember how we uh, how yeah. we said this was the last great hope? And look at the reviews. It's already... <laughs> What's going on here with the bad Ooh. reviews? Oh, there's a lot of five stars. <laughs> Self, self-destructing okay, read that knife. One. <laughs> self-destructing knife. By, by, by Kyler H. I I bought this knife a month ago and immediately noticed it was dull. I sharpened it and then after a while of opening and closing the knife, it was dull again. I sharpened it again, then I did a little test. I put the blade in a neutral position and ran it in and out of the blade, uh, in and out of the handle seven or eight times while holding the blade to one side, then repeat the other. The edge was (laughs) flat. Okay. It doesn't sound like it's self-destructed. It sounds like 
He destructed it. It met um, its end. Go to a. This could be a whole segment here. Is read poor reviews of knives. Oh, there's so many. So Knife Center allows you to review knives you haven't purchased. You haven't so there purchased. are some great, terrible reviews on Knife mm. Center. It's like the Amazon reviews of knives. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Maybe we some, should do a whole episode of that. We'll have to collect some of them. But yeah, in the depths of not. In the depths of Knife Center. Okay, so this is just low-hanging fruit again because he's our, our favorite punching back. Have you ever needed a chisel tip on your Nakiri? Oh, now my you God. Can, uh, pry open. Uh, I almost went into cardiac crate arrest of artisanal when I saw the food. Price. What, oh you're God, saying these the, aren't look. worth 300 bucks each? Oh, my God. Get out of here. <laughs> Something else. Before it's too late. Before it's too late. We're going to have we're gonna have nothing to hyperlink. No. Well, go to hey, go to go Elijah's to DLT. Black Star. Go to DLT. Yes, those are the last of the black stars too. So if you want I, a black I, star, I, that's it. I thought they were probably already gone. <clears throat> there was a, Elijah was saving a few. Oh, okay. Um, it's got <laughs> just to scroll past the the just. So when I was at Blade Show, every time I would, I would go to, <laughs> I would you know, hang out with some of the Blade HQ guys um, and Tim. And um, at the table would always be Greg Medford. And I'd be like, hey, Greg, how are you, man? And he would say hi. And it was just like this awkward situation. I mean, I don't have any beef with Greg Medford. It's just he knows I know. And, you know. <laughs> I, uh, I very briefly interacted with him at one of the New York shows. I don't know. Yeah, he was fine. I remember you were with, I was there with you, I believe. Yeah, it was so like, apparently oh, this, this is getting decent. Yeah, people reviews. don't hate this. That's mm. exactly what I wanted to talk about. People don't hate mm -hmm. the, the ZT 990. Um, good. Like, I'm glad I don't I don't want to see ZT fail. Like, mm -mm. I don't want this knife personally, but it was getting, you know, it's a little sad. It was just knife after knife. Everyone was like, I don't want this. Yeah. <laughs> and finally, finally something, you know, and it's 220. That's actually less than I thought. I thought this would be like a 260 or 250. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. You know, good for them. I'm glad they're, I don't know if they're getting right, uh, you know, on the right track or getting back on the right track, but at least uh, they're not swinging and missing constantly. Some of those new Kershaws are supposedly pretty good, too. So who knows? Yeah. All right. Well, this is this is all stuff that's been out before. Um, yep. Nothing new under the sun here. <laughs> How far back have I gone? It's like I've gone in a time machine. It's all one more packs. before we let's check out River's Edge Cutlery, too. Ooh, yeah, I think they have. Uh, they're Some bad putting, stuff, right? Let's see. Oh, do you know what? I was mix. I was mistaking that with e Urban EDC Supply. <clears throat> we could do that, too. Let's see. Uh, new arrivals. Let's see what's new at River's, River's Edge. Uh, a lot of Protex. Good for Protex. I, I, I got to tell you something. I still want one of those Microtech uh, claw autos for some reason. Oh, yeah, the Hawk. Wow, that's yeah. an old model, too. It's an old design, um, Have you seen yeah. Microtech has a, new has a new knife out? The Vera, I think is what it's called. Or Hera, talking, maybe it's with an H. The Hera. It's a Hera. Hera. Yeah. yeah. And it's uh, usually you're pretty good at getting those those uh, the Greek god names. That one's that one's just Hera. Oh, is okay. it? I, they got me on that one. I have some gossip, oh, yeah. too, but I can't talk about it on the podcast. OK. Oh, the wife of Zeus. Wow. I should have known that one. All yeah. Right. I mean, that was an easy one. You never watched Hercules, the legendary journeys starring Kevin. Sorbo. I think I only watched <laughs> oh, Kevin Sorbo. He's he's a nut. Um <laughs> Okay, you, you don't <laughs> don't talk poorly about Kevin Sorbo. Oh, uh, <clears throat> but I have to say, the Rivers Edge Cutlery folks, they're they're our type of people. They're just good folks. Actually, yeah. I mean, between Blade, I loved hanging out with Blade HQ. Like everybody at Blade HQ, like treated us like family. Um, same thing with Rivers Edge. Like they're people that you just feel like you've known all your life, even though just met them so i had a really great time hanging out with them at blade show same thing um what do you call it dlt good peeps they came by the booth because I, I spent a lot of time at brian's booth um mm -hmm. uh and everybody came around and was hanging out and just came to say hi and 
it was it was really great. It's yeah, good to I mean, know that the, de- the network companies. Of, of knife dealers is yeah. I mean, just that, some that's really why good these, people. That's why these companies have lasted <clears> the test of time is because they're generally good people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Otherwise, people start they're buying like, from them. They're like super into knives too. So good fun. Yes. Very good. Um, All right. Maybe we should wrap it up. Uh, yeah. I want to thank everybody who's been hanging in there with us uh, while we're. Um, it's not really restructuring, but it is sort of um, trying to figure this stuff out. Hopefully, when I get the new computer, we can do. I want to start doing even if um, doing like one on one sort of things with some some random people, you know, just uh, impromptu interview stuff. Dave, if you're available, you can join, you know, and that sort of thing. But if not, I can just jump on anytime. Same thing with you, you know. Yeah, of course. And do some interview stuff. Um, post that up. Um, we have a couple. Uh, I have some really cool giveaway knives. Um, I have a. I think the next one is going for our China D2 for you patrons. Uh, will be a mini Adamus. Oh, nice. Not bad. The hard to get mini Adamus. Um, and then after that, it'll be something else that's cool. We also have, I think we have a Reich Thor 7. Uh, oh, Reich Thor 7. Yes. Yep. So, because we have two months of giveaways to catch up on. It's been a little while. Not, not, not going to be a bad, uh, you know, it'll be the, the knives that you get will be worth the wait for our China D2 folks. Yeah. Um, that's for sure. What else? Um, check out, I mean, you guys can watch the Blade HQ interview with Brian and I, because um, I'm not going to watch it. It's so awkward. And then there's the one uh, with me and River's Edge Cutlery. We had a really good time. That was at the end of Blade Show, where I was incredibly beat. So there's that. <laughs> um, what else? There were some other things, too. Check out our, my uh, on my Instagram. I have a little interview. I have a couple little interviews that I did with... Uh, some folks, um, Matthew Martin of American Blade Works, um, uh, Gavin Hawk, um, uh, Chuck Adritis, who won, uh, won something. What did he win? He won something at Blade Show. Um, for I that didn't know amazing, he won. Good for him. Yeah, he won. Yeah, he's he's on a oh, roll. for the right Marlin now. knife. For that Marlin. Yeah. yeah, for the Marlin knife. Very impressive. That thing is even cooler in person. Um, I, it, it is so silly. <clears throat> But stay tuned. Hopefully some more stuff coming your way. We have, uh, even though we've slowed down the summer, but everybody's on vacation and things, but we're still here. Uh, you can, you know, just reach out to me. I got more Russian stuff coming too, so stay tuned for that. Yep. And thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. See you soon. Bye. <laughs> All right. Let's stop recording. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs>